Good morning, good morning, you guys. This is the Guru. Back again for another cryptocurrency update. That's right. How everybody doing? Hope everybody's week has been going good. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. Today is October the 11th, 2021. Let's get into it and see what's going on around the world in the cryptocurrency news. As you guys can see, you can see my smiling face right up in the top right corner there. I always have my green screen on because I always gaming, so I keep it in there. So give y'all kind of a little different view there. As you guys can see, BTC right now is at 57,500, up 4.17%. BTC dominance is at 47.68%. Also, Ethereum right now is at 3,596, up 1%. Those are two big green marks. We got BNB up 0.08% at 418 right now. Polkadot is down 3% 30, at 3493. Solano is down 3%. ADA is down 1.59%. XRP is up three percent at dollar fifteen doge is down so you got a lot of red out there well you know usd is usd big boy busd xlm is in the green litecoin is in the green uh wbtc and uh, what is this right here what is this? let's click on this what is this oh d dcr decred 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 is in the green i like this you guys this is on uh coin 360.com coin 360.com you can see the heat map. This is up to date. This is live action. CRO is up. OMG is up. Got a couple other players, but you see, you see a lot more red than green today. So that's what's going on as far as the heat map. Let's get over to some news. All right, we're right now. We're on Bitcoin.com. Let's do a quick uh, refresh. This should be current and up to date. All right, let's see what's happening around the news. Poland's central bank says it will add 100 tons of gold to the existing holdings in 2022. Pantera CEO wants a reminder the day before a U.S. Bitcoin ETF launches. I might want to take some chips off the table. Now, how he go, ain't that some kind of insider trading or something? He going to say, I want to take some chips off the table. What is he saying? See, that's why you got the alarm clock. That should be some, and somebody should look into that. AKT.io shows how DeFi is shaping the future and why financial institutions are ripe for disruption. Salvadorian President Naib Bukele announces construction of a veteran hospital with Bitcoin trusted funds. So they built, they built the hospital in Salvador with Bitcoin funds. Travelers will be able to purchase airline tickets with crypto in Venezuela. Bitmain will not ship crypto mining equipment to China. As you know, China has the ban going on. They still ain't there. I think this ban, people thought this ban was just going to be like the other ones, but I think this one is just is a little harder, a little tougher than the, than the other one going on. So Venezuela is still doing their thing with the crypto. Let's see what else is happening. Uh, let's see. Edward Snowden calls CBDCs crypto fascist currency, closer to being a perversion of cryptocurrencies. All right, and what else is going on? Five countries will accept Bitcoin as legal tender by the end of next year. Let's click on that and see which countries are going to accept cryptocurrencies as legal tender by the end of the year. By the end of next year, at least five countries will have accepted Bitcoin as legal tender. So, which are, what are the five countries? Let's see, can we just get right to that? Uh, what are the five countries? Uh, well, we know El Salvador was one. Are they going to list? See, sometimes they be doing this, and then they tease you, and they'll never tell you the damn country. Let's see. Uh, El Salvador, we know about that. Um, Turkey. Turkey, uh, what else? El Salvador, Turkey. See, they not see this is one of the kind of things where they drag you on. El Salvador, Turkey, I don't even see. Okay, let's keep it going. See, I hate when they do that. 
I give you all because then they let me go twice, twice back. Can't even go back. All right, so that's what's going on. This is Bitcoin.com. Let's move it over. Let's move it over to CoinDesk. CoinDesk.com. China foot over Bitcoin mining is now mute. Bitcoin's hash rate is suspected to climb back near its all-time highs, potentially helping mining profitability as China's as China's grip on the sector subsides. So in other words, they're saying the Chinese basically control Bitcoin. So now that they no longer control, you well, I, I, they probably do in the underground, but it's not as strong, the hold is not as strong as before, where they can manipulate. Uh, Bitcoin approaching resistance near the 58,000 mark, support at 50,000. Bit Bitcoin makes push for 57K as Fed tapers fears linger. Leverage funds boost shorts. Who bought 1.6 billion in Bitcoin Wednesday and why? Oh, let's check this out. Somebody bought 1.6 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Uh, it's an eerie coincidence that a trade of this size happened on exchanges with ties to Chinese customers during a week beset by that country's capital market woes. Oh, so I think a lot of people in China are gonna be holding a lot more instead of mining okay somebody bought 1.6 billion dollars worth of bitcoin let's see uh a buyer or a group of buyers entered an order on a centralized exchange to buy 1.6 billion dollars worth of bitcoin for that's roughly 4.5 percent of the average daily volume over past two months under five minutes like it okay whoa oh so that's what it did to it right there they don't know who did it where uh those three these three changes with this binance hobby and buy bitch oh yeah so they doing some stuff man they doing some undercover stuff over there in china so don't forget they they gonna get around they will get around a band. Last but not least, let's go over here to newsbtc.com and see what's going on. Newsbtc, what they're talking about? Forget NFT uh, avatars. Owning and trading NFT colors could be the next NFT trend on OpenSea, Rarible, and Foundation. So they saying pictures are just colors. Man, it's crazy how. See how things blow up, man. This is all. This is all hype. This is all hype. This, if if people are gonna start paying crazy money for pictures with colors in it, this all hype. This is all hype. There's nothing to that. Pictures with colors on them. Can this project? Uh, the poor ventures. Solano native Solano. Bitcoin mining in the U.S. Four states attracts the most miners. Four states attracts the most miners. What are the best? What are the top four states for mining Bitcoin in the United States? According to the data within the United States, New York accounts for 19.9 percent of Bitcoin's hash rate. That's that's surprising to me because New York has some of the hardest cryptocurrency rules out there. New York accounts for 19.9 of Bitcoin's hash rate in the United States. 18.7% in Kentucky, 17.3% in Georgia, and 14% in Texas. So those are your top four states that do Bitcoin mining in the United States. Pennsylvania got the point one. Texas blockchain, I told they, that's crazy. That's surprising that uh, uh, New York is number one because they got some, the hardest cryptocurrency laws around. Quick history, the war on tokens and crypto bans, power bridge. So why the $1 trillion coin is another reason to stay long on Bitcoin. The $1 trillion coin? Is one coin worth a trillion dollars out there? Okay. Uh, U.S. government, members of the U.S. government have reopened a Pandora box in an attempt to elevate their debt ceiling to mint a one trillion dollar coin and prevent it from defaulting on their national debt 
What? That don't even sound right. So you just gonna make a trillion dollar coin out of nowhere and say, oh, oh, we got a trillion dollars. Here you go, we got a trillion dollars in the bank. See, we got this coin, so your money is backed up by this trillion dollar coin we just minted. That's crazy. That's crazy. As all under uh, the US government has been pushing the limit on their debt since several decades ago. In fact, it's not the first time a government official has pr proposed to mint a one trillion dollar coin and keep it on the US Treasury balance sheet to uh man, that's that's they going look, they they not only gonna do it, they telling you they doing it and you can't do nothing about it. We gonna mint a, a, a we gonna mint like a quarter, but like a half a dollar. But this half this coin is gonna be worth a trillion dollars, and we just gonna lock it up in the treasury, and then we can say, hey, we got a trillion dollars in the bank, so your money is is guaranteed by this coin we just made out of the blue. So you know I mean I got a pen right here. I'm going to just all of a sudden say, hey, this pen is worth a trillion dollars, and I'm going to lock it in, in the bank, in the, in the safe deposit box, and say, hey, I need to borrow a trillion dollars from you. Your trillion dollars I borrow is guaranteed by this pen I just said was a trillion dollars. That don't even make, that sounds stupid. That sounds stupid. But yet, but yet, it's against the law for you to, to, to get, get a, a, a 3D printer or something and print money. It's against the law for you to just print money, right? Out of the blue. Crazy, man. I ain't getting my soap out. But there it is. This is a quick crypto update. I know you ain't heard from me from a while. I just had to come up in here. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know. You haven't heard from me because the only thing that's been going on now has been these uh been these uh mining these uh these mining uh minor these minor programs. And I, I didn't get into these minor programs. Uh, you know, I, I said I was going to leave these minor programs alone. So I'm just kind of waiting for this minor thing to phase out and uh, wait till the next thing come up. Because, you know, quite frankly, I'm making more money doing other things, you know, than just that little money you making on them little minor programs. You know what I mean? The money, the money in DeFi is getting in on the pre-sales, getting, getting white listed and getting in on the pre-sales. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me take y'all. I got to bring y'all in the big screen. But the money, the money in DeFi is getting in on pre-sales, getting white listed, so you can get in on those sales before it hits the market. That's where the real money is. All this other money is just chump change. You know what I mean? So I, ha I didn't get into all this minor stuff, so that's why I don't have a lot of videos, cause that's all that's going on right now. NFTs. I, I have been dabbling with NFTs. Actually, I've been buying some NFTs on Pancake uh, Swap, and uh, so they, that's been pretty good. I can actually uh, let me kind of show you guys what what's been going on. The bunnies. See right here. Let me uh, switch this over. The Pancake Bunny. I have been going on to uh, Pancake Swap and going to the bunnies and stuff right here. So you can see you got the. Um, you got the different uh, NFTs. So I have been buying these. Basically, what I've been doing, I haven't been really, I haven't been really making up, you know, my own. I've just been um, buying like the ones that are already out here. I look and see how many of a certain version it is. Basically, I just buy the ones out here and then raise the price up a little bit and make a profit like this. I'm usually selling like one every two days or so. Just like say, like this one. This is a point one eight seven. Flippy Easter. I'll buy this and then I'll put the price at point two in a couple of days, you know, I'll see it sell. So that's just as good as those minor programs. You're talking about one percent. Same thing. I just do that. So I've been doing that and other things, you know. But thank you guys for watching all my videos. I appreciate y'all joining me. This is a quick update, crypto news update, and uh this is the guru. See you on the next one. Thank you.